Hi, welcome back to another vlog. I am just gonna kind of go through my week. So on Valentine's Day, I had a little Valentine's Day with my girl and we went to the Cavs game, shared some good food and some good drinks and we just had a good time. It's been a while since I've been to a Cavs game. So I had a good time, they won and yeah. Oh my god so there were these um they had like a dance team of like uh senior citizens and they were so cool they kind of just like reminded me that you know you shouldn't take life too seriously and that i hope that i'm this cool um when i'm old but me and my friend we were getting a kick out of this we thought they were so cute um but yeah then i went um vintage shopping i got some really cool stuff and i found some like really cool designer pieces um like saint laurent under 100 but yeah so this is what i ended up getting i spent like 50 bucks and i got some pretty cool basics um like this vintage uniqlo um i got it in the men's section but it's kind of wrinkly but it was it's so comfy um this sweater i'm super excited to do some layering with it like a white t-shirt underneath yeah i love it oh my god and then i found this sweater it's kind of like a slim fitting sweater and i thought it would be so chic with like a black mini skirt and some high knee boots i cannot wait to wear that like a work piece and then i'm trying i'm like in a spring mood so i found this t-shirt and it's from um where is it from oh yeah it's from 1989 and i just love it it's in such good condition and i love like t-shirts from the 90s because literally there is such good quality so thick but yeah, I'm really trying to focus on, you know, having more new unique pieces in my wardrobe. All right, then I went to Home Depot. We're going to be making some art for my home. And yeah, so I made these before and I didn't love them. They were not what I was trying to go for. But yeah, here were the colors that I chose. And then I also just used some spackling. Um, that's how I get the texture. But here's some more art pieces that I've made for my home. Um in the past i haven't hung anything yet but yeah this definitely needs a little bit of work but i love it and then i made these a while ago for my old apartment and i just think they're so cute but yeah so um i was like so afraid to show this room of my house but you know we're just gonna be open and honest here this is my dining room and we thought we weren't gonna be here for more than a year so we never decorated we never really got furniture we've kind of been using the room as a catch-all but we um we've been we signed another lease so we've kind of been you know trying to you know move in make it more homey and yeah so yeah here we go this is um me just putting some more like texture i know i probably should have painted it white like all white under before or if you have white canvases then you don't have to paint um underneath but yeah so this is how we go we add some texture in. i kind of just go like where i'm feeling um and i kind of just eyeball it i kind of want to see like you do it like how you want it to um like flow on the canvas so you can kind of see like before i had a flow that went from the bottom of the left up to the corner of the right um i didn't like that i thought i don't know i just wasn't a huge fan of it i wasn't gonna get rid of it but i added some more like straight um straight up and down or um horizontal texture so that it kind of balanced out and um kind of balanced the frames a little bit more so yeah um so this the canvases when i bought them i've had these so when i bought the canvases they were probably like 15 bucks each so like 30 bucks right there and then i got sample sizes of those paint colors that i just showed you and those were about five bucks each and then the like spackling was 12. i got a medium sized one um because it doesn't really last if you try to save it it kind of dries out so i just got a medium sized one i'd rather go back and get more than like buy too much and have it wasted but yeah i think it's like super important to um to create pieces that are unique to your style or your space it's super easy to just go and buy a piece that you see at Target or like on Amazon. Um, but I just find that like when you do it yourself, it's so much more meaningful and it's so much more, um, 
it's so much more unique to your space so yeah this is kind of how i did that so when you go in with the texture it kind of goes on a little clumpy um so i actually use like the free uh paint stirs to kind of smooth it out and kind of give it more of a specific texture that i want um, but yeah, you definitely want to kind of smooth those clumps out. I think a little bit is okay. It kind of gives a character, but I try to just like smooth it out. And then I use the edge, like the corner edge to kind of make the, I don't know, like the little like digs in the texture. Um, yeah. Okay. So after I kind of got it where I wanted, I pulled some canvases that I painted before I mean, I don't know what I was trying to go for with those. I think I was trying to go for something like cool, seductive in my space, but they just turned out kind of creepy. So, and I don't like wasting um, things that I bought. So I definitely had some stuff left over. So let's get rid of those creepy little mannequin things. I mean, they're super creative, but definitely just not what I'm going for in my space um, and not a vibe for me. So yeah, same thing here. I'm just kind of going in and making some texture, just really smoothing it out. And I like these little canvases too, because you can kind of lift them and move them the way that you want them to go. Um, but yeah, it's time to say goodbye to those and not waste canvases and not waste, you know, things that I bought. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I definitely know that I wanted to get some texture on them and, you know, we'll see if I find any inspo for these. So I'm an interior designer and I feel like I struggle a lot because I work in such beautiful spaces all the time and I work with really, really large budgets um, and I'm just like not there in my life yet. So it's hard for me. Um, I guess it's more of a challenge for me because I want to create such a beautiful space in my own home, but I'm just not there and I just don't have that budget. So that's why I kind of try to get creative and make beautiful pieces that I've seen or kind of replicate some um, some really high-end pieces. Like those wooden pieces behind me, I they're kind of my take on an artist um, who does pieces like that that cost like $20,000. So I definitely don't have $20,000 to spend on art, so I just find this is such a good way to elevate a space. Um, and again, just really add that personal touch. And then when you do a project like this, I get the pink spackle because it dries white and I can really tell when it's fully dried. I usually leave it to dry overnight with a fan on. So I have a ceiling fan. So I just leave the fan on and I let it dry for 24 hours before I go in and paint it. So yeah. And then I just got, this was just an old sheet from like an old bedding set that I had that I use as like my paint tarp. And I love it. It makes me feel like an artist. So yeah. And this is definitely gonna be a series of things that I do to make like my rental space um, more elevated and more me and homey. Okay, so it's the next day. I painted everything and this is how they kind of turned out. I might go in with another coat, um, but I kind of just blended all the things together and I used some dark, um, like the darker shades, the lighter shades, and I kind of just mixed them in. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait to hang them in my bedroom. And while we're talking about spaces, I just like am trying to learn to love my space and love like little details that I found. And I don't want to hate on Target because look at those pillows. I did get those from Target and yeah, I'm just really trying to love my personal space. Okay, so speaking of design, we're heading downtown to go to the coffee shop to work on some design school stuff and just get some inspo. Then I took a walk, me and my boyfriend and my friend, we took our dogs to Edgewater and just take a break and take a breather and kind of just soak in the nice weather that we've been having. And then, yeah, just the aftermath of some dinner. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just loving sunsets lately. I'm loving slowing down and kind of just trying to find inspo anywhere, but thanks for watching and I hope you found some inspo.